Are you like me when computer specs are mentioned? The 3990X for two terabytes. Half of our then this video is for you. I'm Raphael, and welcome to the channel. With the announcement of the new Threadripper and the Mac Pro, there are some serious questions I need to ask myself before buying a new Pro machine. Computers are like cars for me. I know how to drive them. I have no idea how to build one or fix it. I know what I need it to be and how to push it. I know how to get from place to place and accomplish the tasks that I need to do. But when it comes down to fixing it and rebuilding it, that's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to be using my time for. Now, it's not because I couldn't figure it out. It's more about dedicating the time to really figure out what each component does and which component works best with all the other components. So it's totally a choice that I'm not doing a deep dive on every single component. Knowing if you need a sports car, a monster truck, or a family hauler, this answer can save you thousands of dollars and a lot of headaches down the road. I use computers professionally every single day, Macs and PCs. I used high-end PCs for the last three years creating large screen content. But personally, I own Macs. I've had the original Cheese Grater Mac and through many updates, it is pretty much on its last legs. So it's time to update my Pro machine. I was in the process of specking out a new Mac Pro, though now I've been seeing the AMD Threadripper and I'm really starting to question what I should do. I'm trying to take a step back and understand what my needs truly are. What applications am I using? What kind of performance do I need? What kind of machine can I build? And where could I source those machines? If you're anything like me and you see the specs for a computer, my eyes just glaze over. I see 64 gigs, that's higher than 32. I see this graphics card is more expensive than that one, so that makes it better, right? 12 cores is more than eight cores, so that's gonna do something faster, right? I know that a solid state drive is better than a mechanical drive. The rest feels like useless information for me. I just need to know, is it going to do the things that I need as fast as possible and as well as possible and reliably every single time? And the product numbers are almost invisible when I look at the page. I've never really known what they mean. The people that truly understand it, they have a master class of knowledge. Kudos to you. When it comes time to buy a new computer or upgrade, I typically ask people that I trust and I know understand it well. And when I ask them what their opinion is, usually they give me their answer and all I hear is that one's better. The rest is irrelevant. I needed to do the stuff that I needed to do. But when I ask some specific questions like, I use this program and I needed to do these kind of things, it's not typically what they need machines to do, so they don't have a solid answer for me. And every time I check online, it's a mixed bag of people's opinions. And the questions I typically have are for very specific applications that are unique to me. So I can't expect people that understand every single component to understand how every application can work because there are so many different ways a computer can be used and almost every use case is very different. There are tiers and genres essentially of video editors, 3D animation, designers, compositors, music engineers, and the list goes on and on for just the creative space, let alone the scientific community and gaming, game developers and software developers, and they need a machine that they're able to maximize its performance to get the best for their job every single time. I need a machine that fits in that very specific criteria. This budget with this kind of performance, what is the best combo for that? So then why would I buy a computer from companies like HP, Dell, Apple, or the like? Because they have spent the time to configure these machines and its parts to work as well as possible for the tasks I will throw at it. And the price is built into the time they spent on their part. So I want a machine handed to me that I know is going to do what I needed to do as well as possible. And it's already been vetted to do that. So for me personally, as a starter, I need something that can play back 4K footage at high frame rates through various codecs, but also 6K footage. I wanna be rendering 3D in the background while I'm editing a show in the foreground or editing photos or 2D compositing and they're all working at the same time without missing a beat. And that's just a typical day. I don't wanna spend time troubleshooting or finding workarounds, what driver the graphics card needs to be working with the motherboard to make sure that the machine is working as well as possible. And there's a trust that I give to these companies to deliver on those promises. If the machine does not perform as promised, then I'm sending it back, no hesitation, and multiply it a few thousand times, that's not good for their business. So they want their machines to work as well as possible as they're delivered. I have friends that are amazing at building their own machines, specking them out and saving as much money as possible. But even for them, and they go through phases of iterating and swapping out components until they find the best performance for that machine to make sure that they work as well as possible. But building their own machine, they understand that they're gonna have to take that time to swap out components that their system works as well as possible for them. Building a quality machine is a profession onto itself. That's not something that I'm interested in. That time investment is not for me. 
I want a machine that works from day one. Especially if you have to install software, that alone could be a day or two onto itself. Do I want to build a car from scratch? No. Do I want to drive the fastest one that is available to me? Absolutely. Think about it, the amount of expertise to do it correctly, that's a lifetime's worth to get it right. At least that's how I feel. It's the same reason I go to a mechanic to get my car fixed. I'm not interested in learning it, but I'm grateful for the people that do it well. For me, the faster a computer can do the things I need, the longer I can stay in a creative space and creative workflow, because in these cases, time is money for me. The faster I can get stuff done, the more I can get done. And most of the pro apps that I use are cross-platform, like the Adobe Suite, Cinema 4D, DaVinci Resolve are all available on both platforms. I like Macs at this point because I understand how to use the operating system to my advantage as quickly as possible. And because the hardware was designed and configured to work well together, I wouldn't even know where to start with hardware issues. Know what you need the machine to do. Think cars. Do you need to be a sports car as fast as possible? A monster truck that can plow through anything or a family hauler that the whole family can use? Set your budget, think three to five years of an investment. Are you comfortable upgrading? If not, upgrade those components now. Knowing the work you'll mainly do on your machine will help you buy the right computer without having to know what all the specs mean. Question for you, what machine would you recommend for an editing setup or a 3D setup and why? What machine should I look at that is comparable to the 12 core Mac Pro that I'm not aware of? Why Windows over Mac OS? What are your needs in a machine? What is important to you? Share your thoughts in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Give me a big thumbs up, subscribe. I'm Raphael and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.